Greetings viewers, YouTubers, interwebbers, etc. My name is Byron, I am the Bull. This is my foodie channel. Uh, this week I am going to do a uh, chicken and broccoli and I'm gonna do that in the air fryer and actually with my instant pot. Um, it's kind of an Asian-y dish uh, that's pretty easy for dinner uh, on like a weeknight or on the weekend when you have some time to relax. Um, the video is very detailed, so I'm not going to get too much of the intro. If you do like what you see, let me know in the comments. Um, give me some likes, subscribe, share with your friends. Alright, tonight we are cooking some chicken and broccoli air fryer. So just my discard. So I'm going to start by chopping up the chicken. Now just rinse this off quick and due to the magic of editing it will be chopped when I get back. Not completely done yet but I do like to say that I like to take this piece of uh, cartilage out of here before I cut it. So you can either do it with scissors which makes it a lot easier if you got some kitchen shears you can just cut it out of here and try to save as much actual chicken as I can but cut all this out of here before I slice it you can also cut the chicken with your kitchen shears too but I like to use the knife because I feel like I have more control and it doesn't hurt my hand as much as the something that goes into my waste bowl all right, now we will cut the chicken. Boom, mm -hmm. chicken's done, nice and cubed up. Gonna clean off my tray and do the broccoli. All right, tray has been cleaned and sanitized. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of examples of how I do the broccoli. Nothing special. I usually cut this big end off and then just kind of cut down the middle to get just a nice bite-sized flow right. And that one, I'm just cutting that out. This is partially frozen. It makes it a little easier to cut versus if it's all the way defrosted because then it gets a little mushy. And we just flour it out. And the bigger ones I just kind of cut down just to make them semi uniform in shape. And then this other stuff I just toss in my, in my throwaway. So we do the brown to the end of the bag of broccoli here. So I'll just cut the last ones up on camera. Again, then just cut the stem down, put it into a nice bite-sized piece, as uniformly as the broccoli size will let me. These are nice because they usually just fall right apart. And then this big one I'll just cut in half. In the pile. This goes into the thing. Yeah. Now I'll clean this up and I'll make the sauce. It's very really simple. It calls for a couple of tablespoons of oil and some sesame. I'm just going to open everything up real, real quick. I'm going to use the same tablespoon for pretty much everything except for the garlic. All right, so we need two tablespoons of oil, and I'm going to actually do three, because I like to have the flavor of olive oil. And then a little vegetable oil, I like this, yeah, canola, to stretch it a little bit. Two, and this will be my third, and then it is two tablespoons of Sesame oil. And that gives it that Asian-ish flavor. One of. Actually, I'm gonna do two of the soy instead of this. And since I am almost out, then I'm just gonna throw the rest in there. Call it good. garlic I'm just gonna 
call that good. And it calls for a little bit of vinegar. Put a little bit of that in there too. Into that, and we're going to whisk. In a couple of minutes, it'll come together. Start to emulsify. Careful not to splash it over, over, over everywhere. And when it's nice and even gravy looking, we'll take and add to our broccoli and chicken which we have pre cut. And we'll just pour that over and give it a good mixing in. I'll use that same spoon that I used for getting the garlic out. And it's early, it is almost two o'clock. So this will probably sit in the fridge for about three hours, maybe four. Probably start this around 5.30 or six. So I'll just coat this. And then when I get back home, I will stir it again. And then I'll probably salt and pepper it then. But I want this sauce to kind of soak into everything. <clears throat> this will allow the broccoli to defrost and it will allow the chicken and the broccoli to absorb the flavors of that little marinade that I did. And then it will go into our Instant Pot air fryer, which is like our standalone unit. I don't have the, the the lid that you put on, I, we just have a air fryer that was made by Instant Pot. So that's done. I will throw some wrap over this and into the fridge. I almost forgot. It does call for a little hot sauce. So I should have put that in the mix, but I'll just sprinkle it on top here. A couple of squirts, <clears throat> remix that in. <clears throat> and it's as if I never forgot. And then I will wrap this and put it in the fridge. And we will be back later. Then I'm just gonna do a quick spray to the Instant Pot and I will add in two cups of rinsed rice. Then I'm gonna add two cups of water for the two cups of long grain rice. Then I just used the rice setting on my Instant Pot. marination this will go into the air fryer station two that preheat the air fryer to 380 for 20 minutes.
then about halfway through, I give it a stir around so uh, everything gets browned kind of evenly. Looking down. Perfection. Rice has been fluffed. We're about to enjoy. Oh.